Hello friends, Neil here, EMF Safety Zone channel. I'm going to do another video for you today. Uh, I think I'm just trying to show the same thing I did in the last video of a completely idyllic location. I mean, this place is so beautiful. This is a trail through a bunch of very large properties where I live. I, just, I rode my, uh, this is an electric bike. This thing is so cool. It's a mountain bike with a big motor on it. And I just uh, ride it along these trails. You can see this trail right here. Now, this is a very remote area. I've just about turned around in a 360 degree turn here. You can see these uh, distant hills. And again, I mean, who wouldn't want to have a home here? I'm going to turn on the microwave meter, and you can already hear it screaming. Check this out. All right, it's not huge. Let me turn the volume down. Oh, it's bouncing up to 88 microwatts per square meter on peak signal. Let's move it around a little bit. Anyways, it's not like standing right next to a cell tower, but this is the kind of thing that I'm talking about. Sorry, I was getting a mosquito off my face. Yeah, that's up a little bit higher right there. And I don't even know where this cell tower is. You know, I can't really see it in the distance. But it is in the distance somewhere. And this is the kind of thing that we all just need to be careful about in terms of where we're living and working. And yes, we can say, well, it's impossible to find anywhere where it's safe. And on one level, that's true. On another level, we can find places that have relatively lower exposure. But again, what blows my mind, as we say in America, is look at the beauty around here. I mean, there is nobody up here. This is just acres and acres and acres of land. And unless you had a meter, you wouldn't even be able to tell that anything was going on. I'm trying to get it so the meter doesn't reflect me shooting with the camera. All right, these are not the worst readings, but personally, I wouldn't want to live here. And then we get innocent human beings who are living in cities with a cell tower a quarter mile down the street or a half a mile down the street or five or six cell towers and then pretty soon there'll be the 5G small transmitters. So like I say over and over again, get ready to move into more remote areas. And I'm going to give you a hint. If you have the ability to move to a remote area, if you have the ability to get out of the city, move to a remote area, choose places that are down in a valley rather than up on a hill. Because even though this location looks absolutely beautiful, I'd love to have a house here, but this is up on a hill. And it's very possible when you're up on a hill like this, it it's more possible that cell towers are going to go in on adjacent hills, like I'm scrolling in here or zooming in on these adjacent hills. And the, these are where it's more possible that towers will go in. And then when a tower is on these adjacent hills with nothing blocking it, you get a very strong exposure, just like I was showing on my meter. So again, I don't know if this is interesting or not, but for me it is. Driving on these trails, remote area, I can't even see the cell tower on that remote hill. I don't know where it is. 
and you see the readings on the meter. Anyways, more education, more entertainment, whatever you want to call it. And um, thank goodness there's none of those strange clouds in the sky today. Look at that. Fairly blue sky. It's what I call a religious holiday when they don't spray those fake clouds. All right. Thanks for watching.